Only on two, those close to Tulsa mother Ruth Lewis accused of killing her child says she showed signs that she was at her wits end weeks before seven month old Zayden Myers was killed. Two Works View reporter Corey Duke joins us with why Lewis friends say they wish she would have asked for help. Stephen Ruth Lewis sits behind bars charged with child abuse murder after little Zayden was pronounced dead just yesterday. And many of her friends say they realized she was struggling and asking for help could have saved Zayden's life. When we were driving, I would sit there and sing and hum. Um, and, and I do mean sing random songs. It could have been, you know, Humpty Dumpty. Most of Megan Green's memories of Zayden involve her car. It's in this vehicle where Green would take away Lewis's burden of a crying child and calm him with the sound of her voice. He would sit there and, and be quiet and coo and, and, and giggle and smile. Police say Zayden lost his life at the hands of his mother when, according to her statement to investigators, she just lost it for a minute. Investigators say the infant suffered severe brain injuries after he was shaken, jerked, and pushed to the ground. Green says Lewis showed signs of anxiety and frustration for the past couple of months. You know, she was just like, I, I need a, I need a break. Other friends tell us Lewis constantly begged for some relief from her children. They say she loved her son, but wasn't able to handle the stress of motherhood. And now she's accused in little Zayden's death. Why she have to leave so soon? Yeah. Experts say women experience the trials of motherhood in different ways. And trying to do it alone can lead to abuse and neglect. If they don't get help, we've seen parents who get so tired that their frustration level really hits a point where they become the kind of parent they don't want to be. Mothers who find themselves in situations where they're at their wits end are advised to seek help and to know that it's okay. It's always okay to have the feelings that we have as a parent. There are many times that we love our children, but it doesn't mean that we always like being a parent. Marsh says there are resources for struggling mothers. All they need to do is reach out. Though it's too late for baby Zayden, and though his mother's fate is not determined, their story can be a lesson to mothers struggling with their children. As for Lewis, she'll get her punishment through God and through the justice system. A public memorial for Zayden will be held Tuesday at La Fortune Park at 6 o'clock. Those wishing to attend are asked to bring white balloons and blue ribbons, which symbolize Zayden's purity and child abuse awareness. Corey Duke, two works for you.